People in the Nabdam district of the Upper East region were thrown into the state of shock and mourning on Thursday afternoon when two people lost their lives after a heavy downpour. The rainfall on Thursday, that lasted for more than six hours, got the Pelungu Sekote Bridge flooded. An unidentified young man in his 50s and a woman identified only as a native of Mwangwari got drowned in the river that connects Pelungu to Sekote. Both were traveling in a tricycle, popularly known as Mahama Kandu, but the strong waves of the water carried them into the river when they attempted to cross the overflowing bridge. The Kandu driver, who only gave his name as Abori, that is how it happened. The, all the people, they, they are all standing by, saying that they, can, they, are, they are free because of the nature of the water. They cannot go. I said, okay, I will do all my best and see whether I can do it. I can cross. Because I used to pass the route, so I know how the, the route is. And when I'm, I'm in the middle of the, the water, the bridge, then the, the water capitalized, captured the can do inside. What I know is that they are going to support it, and I, I'm also trying to, uh, to light them as a quarter. So it's like when the, the water capitalized me on the, the, the bridge, uh, I, we all try all our best to get out from the water. Put my hands on it and manage to get out from the water. The arrival of the NADMO team and the Ghana Red Cross Society Community Support Team gave hope to the people as they joined them to search for the drowned bodies. The search continued for three hours till the young men in life jackets proved their words. The man was found first and later the woman was found through the search. The district chief executive, Agnes Anamo, also arrived later at the scene upon receipt of the information via phone call, but she could not stand the grief and sorrow at the sight. <laughs> An eyewitness told last hour reports his side of the story when the member of parliament, Dr. Mark Nawani, also arrived. <laughs> We told him not to cross because the water was still strong. He put up the engine, came down and went back to drive the kanju. In the middle of the bridge, they were swept off into the water. The district director of NADMO, Edward Ndanbun, who appeared very sad and worried, shared with us the way forward for the victims. Today is a sad day in my district. I was called by my zonal uh, officer that the volunteer groups have uh, given information that three people were being carried away by flood water in Pelungu here. This is the bridge where the incident happened. So I quickly called the uh, Red Cross. I have uh, volunteers in collaboration with the Red Cross Society. Then they quickly rushed to the scene. Then I alerted the Pilungu Health Center. Then I came to the scene. When I came, one, we were able to retrieve uh, one of them. Then we entered into the water and searched and had uh, the second person. So in all three were drowned in, in the water. The Pelungu Sekote Bridge has recorded several of such incidents during the rainy seasons. It is the same route that links many communities from Sekote, Magbari and Kolpelga to the Pelungu market. The earlier something is done about this bridge, the better. The bodies have been deposited at the Regional Hospital March in Bogatanga for identification and collection. My name is Peter Agengri, reporting.